Hello all, in this video we will see how to program STM32 F401 F411 black pill boards using UART method. This STM32 F411 has got more memory and SRAM and it works on maximum frequency 100 MHz as compared to F401. It has got C type USB SWD that is serial wire debug and UART1. PA9 and PA10 pins are UART1. So, three types of uh, it can be programmed by three ways either USB or SWD or UART. In this video, we are using UART method. The next video, we will see the SWD method. And for using SWD, you need this ST Link uh, programmer, but here uh, we are using FTDA programmer that is USB to TTL device which is capable of 3.3 volt level. So you have to replace the jumper at 3.3 volt level and connection is simple RX1 to TX, TX1 to RX, ground to ground and 3.3 volt you can uh, take from the USB to TTL device itself. When the USB device is plugged on, the blue LED will glow. Compared to blue pill STM32 F103, in blue pill, you are having boot jumpers, that is the yellow jumper for entering the boot mode. But in this F401 and 411, you have got buttons, push buttons, one RST button. If you press the RST button, the blue LED will go off. If you release the hand, the blue LED will come up. To enter boot mode, press and hold the uh, reset button and then press and hold the boot zero button release the RST button and then release the boot zero button. Now it will enter the boot mode and the LED will be off. That is press hold NRST and then press hold boot mode, release NRST and then release boot mode. Now it is in boot mode. Now let us see the Arduino core. Go to file preferences and then you have to add a JSON link for the uh, using STM 401 and 411 in Arduino core. So go to this link, STM32 uh, Duno, link is given in the description and scroll down to Arduino Core STM32 and then copy this uh, .json link. If you scroll down, you can see this uh, .json link uh, which will enable Arduino Core and you can program in the Arduino ID itself. So copy this link and paste it under the preferences and then click on OK and close this window by clicking on OK. Now go to Boards Manager, click on Boards Manager and search for STM32MCU. Click on the first uh, result and then click Install. So STM32MCU Board Managers, all for support for all these types of boards will be installed. Now we are all set to go. You can uh, program in the Arduino ID itself. Close the Boards Manager, go to uh, Tools and then boards, select STM32 F4 series. As we are using STM32 F401 or 411, you select F4 series. And again, go to tools and come back. And you select the particular model of the board. Board number STM32 F11 CEUX. This is the model we are using here in this video, F411. And then you have to select the port number, which is the port allotted to the USB to TTL device. Now uh, scroll down to the uh, uh, upload method, which is STM32 Q Programmer Serial. It is not SW2, it is STM32 Q Programmer Serial. Select it. Then we have to install the STM32 Q Programmer. Now let us install the STM32 Q Programmer. Go to the STM ST link website st website official website and download the cube programmer by providing the your email id install the stm32 cube programmer accept the defaults and finally stm32 cube programmer is installed finally you have to install the path it is very in important otherwise you cannot use the ide now go to c program files and then stm electronics stm32 cube and then go to the bin folder and under that you can see stm32 underscore programmer underscore cli so you have to copy this path or go to the uh, folder uh, top side of the folder 
right click and then copy address you have to copy the complete address go to advanced settings and search for environment variables so in this window environments window at the bottom you can see system variables click on path and then click uh, new uh, now you have to paste this uh, address where you copied this underscore cli uh, path you paste this path here and then click on ok now close this window by clicking on ok environment variable setting is over now you can verify from the terminal by typing in this uh, stm32 underscore programmer underscore cli you will get some result so cli path is installed correct now you are set to go now with the Arduino IDE you have to feed in this program PC13 is the onboard LED for most of the black pill and blue pill boards you uh, use this PC13 for the default LED uh, blinking now you can click on upload button to see the code being uploaded and then the blue LED starts blinking uh, now let us see the STM32 cube programmer method for this you have to uh, go to sketch and then click on export compiled binary the sketch will be compiled compiled and the binary sketch will be uh, moved to the folder go to sketch folders show sketch folder and then open the build build folder here you can see the dot hex and dot bin files we are interested in dot hex file copy this dot hex file and uh, paste it to another place another location and then start the stm32 cube programmer here at the top you can see you can select swd as well as uart select the uart and then click on connect if the board is in boot mode it will be automatically connected otherwise you have to do the press method press boot uh, that is a reset button and then boot button release uh, reset and then boot it will be connected now now uh, Click on the download arrow at the left hand side and scroll to the location where you have stored the .hex file and click on OK. Now you can click on the start button. The code will be loaded. This is the STM32 cube uh, method. So both UART method and cube method we have seen. Both are using UART method. Thank you for watching.